Welcome back. Today we're going to have some fun with OSPF point to multi point. We're going to continue the design that we put together in a previous video and we'll go through this step by step in the command line. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And here is the same setup that we had before. If we do a show IP OSPF neighbor, we'll see that we're still the DR and router 2 is the BDR. But how about if we didn't have to use a DR or BDR? With modern networks, if you're connected to a LAN switch, then you're pretty much okay. You pretty much have the same connectivity all around. And there might not be a reason that we need to select one to be our central location for all uh, routes and everything else. So we don't need a DR and a BDR. BFD is still good as we learned in a previous video and that can be used anywhere for rapid convergence. But we can just go without. So let's, let's get started on the command line. One way to do this is by changing the broadcast, the, the interface type, OSPF network type. So if we do a show IP OSPF, OSPF interface, and it's GI00, we'll see that we have a particular interface type. You see it's network type broadcast. As we learned, broadcast types have a hello of 10 and a dead interval of 40. And this shows us our setup where it shows us all of our 10 neighbors, which is 2 through 11. And it tells us who the backup is. So one easy way to do this is to change these network types. But let's go over to one of the remote locations. Let's say we want to configure router three. Very simple. We go into the uh, G00, IP OSPF, network. Here, let me back up so you can see the command line question. And that's where you see that the network type can be changed there. So we're gonna change the network. And what are our options? So we're already broadcast. So let's see what happens when we set it up to point to multipoint. That's it. But as you can see, all of the neighbors went down. Why? So this is disruptive for a network. So this is not something that you would do lightly or casually. So there are no neighbors. Why? Because the network types do not match. If I go to a router one, show IP OSPF neighbors, it's still there, but you can see we have nine seconds left. So in a few seconds, this will disappear from our network. Ooh, we got it right when it hits zero. Cool. Not so often that you can do that on the fly. But then you get the message that the neighbor is down, that timer expired. So when we do show IP OSPF neighbor again, it's no longer there. That will happen with every single router if we change the IP OSPF network type. So let me go to router one now. What will happen if I change it here? Interface. And we have to remember that this has, let's do a show run interface G00. So you can see it still has the BFD configured, which is okay. We don't have a problem with that. And it has IP OSPF, IP OSPF priority of 255. And we could take that off. You can say IP OSPF priority 255. So if we do a show run again, it's no longer there. That's fine. Okay. Now let's configure this IP OSPF network point to multipoint. Okay. Now all the neighbors go down and one comes up, I believe. Let's see, show IP OSPF neighbors. And you see that we're only neighbors with 3.3.3, .3, which is router three. And it converts to a state of full. There is no DR, BDR. But now we've lost connectivity to everyone in our network. So in order for this to work, we have to configure 
the same command on all of them. So I'm going to copy and paste it so we can do this quickly. That one will come up. That one will come up. Interface G00, put, make the network, IPOSPF point to point. And let's just take a look again here. Show IPOSPF neighbor. What's up with me in the queues today? Okay, so you can see now we're three, four, five, and six. Full adjacency between these. There is no need for a BDR, a DR, nothing. What is the state of router two? Let me check that out. Show IP OSPF neighbors. See, this is still participating, so we have like a totally split network, even though they're they're part of the network, but they're not forming the adjacencies because the network types have to match. Well, at least the timers have to match. And when you set this up this way, the timers change. So once again, if we do a show IP OSPF interfaces, and let's just go to G00 we'll see that our hello and our dead time is 10 and 40. What will it be over here? Let's see, show IP OSPF interface G00. Since we're a multi point to multi point. So you see it's hellos are 30 and the dead timer is 120. And that's why it cannot work. That's what it has to match. It has to be able to talk to each other. So we can go and keep fixing this up everywhere. Integrated G00, put that in there. Now he's participating. Interface G00, paste it. And if you were in a production network and you, you did this, then you would not have a way to get back into this router so you better make sure that you have a way to get into it a backup method to get into it here as we're labbing well we can do whatever we want there's really nothing we could break like right here i just i put that in there so now it's looking for dns and it's not going to work i believe our 11 was pinging left and right so i'm going to let that keep going so all we need to do is do R9. Okay, let's make sure we type things in correctly. Interface G00 and put that command in there and we're done. So if we go to router 11, router one, show IP OSPF neighbor. What do we have? We have everyone there except R2. What is R2 doing? Come on R2, get with the program, see? He's there all by him by his lo lonesome. And router nine is saying goodbye in about 10 seconds. His only buddy is router 11. Bye bye. He's out. Okay, so let's fix router two. We don't need BDR DR. We just need everyone to talk. <laughs> You know, what happens here? Show IP OSPF neighbor. Don't forget, you can just up by arrow it. Here we go. So everyone is configured. You notice how the dead timers change? That's what we want to see. So it's 30 seconds times four. It'll be two minutes. And that's the way it works. But once again, BFD can help us here because we want the router to disappear, even though we don't have a dependency here. But there are routes on R1 that BFD or, or that OSPF is feeding into the network. So if we go to R3, for example, if we do a show IP route, we see all the routes here. Correct. 
they're all being fed by OSPF. So this one is the loopback interface. But the problem is now that the dead timers are so high that this route will stay there. It will not disappear. So your other routers will still think that they have connectivity to it. The routes will not disappear. So if I shut this guy down, or at least the interface, interface G00 shut, what happens on router three? Let's see here. So let's see the routes. Show IP route. And look at what a mess we have here. It's saying it could find that route through a other. But truly it can't because it's down. So if we do a show IP route, it takes a while for it to be removed from the routing table. But we can't ping it. Can we? Let's see. Nope, we cannot. And it just times out. Show IP route. And if you look at the route, it's the issue here is that these routers are no longer depending on a DR BDR. And these routers are not configured for BFD. So three is, but these guys are not. So if we look at it here, show IP OSPF neighbors, it's finally out. It's been a couple minutes. So if we look at the IP route, it's still in the routing table. And that's why we can do other things in order to eliminate them from the routing table. We don't need that there because this interface has been shut down. There is no other route for it. But we'll talk about that in a future video. This was just showing you how we could eliminate or totally eliminate the need for a DR BDR in our network and just let the entire network be able to talk to each other with the modern routers that we have now, modern routers, layer three switches. There's kind of no need to be concerned about traffic flowing back and forth from every device. It'll just work. So until next time, please subscribe. Please uh, click that link for the buy me a coffee so that you can hook me up with an espresso. Dopio, please.